Hello world, welcome to Salesforce Training. Today we are talking about the data input wizard versus the data loader. We're gonna cover what they are, their key features, and some of our best tips to remembering them. Let's get started. Data Import Wizard. The Data Import Wizard is like the baby of these tools. It's easy to use, but has limited capabilities. It allows us to insert, update, and upsert records. Note that there is no export functionality here. It can only import leads, accounts, person accounts, solutions, campaign members, and custom objects. You can import up to 50,000 records at a time. Duplicates can be prevented, by checking the name, email, or Salesforce ID field. For accounts, it checks the account name and the site field. Record import will fail if there's a missing field that is either required at the field level or is a master detail field on the detail record. Validation rules are also important. So what are some tips to remembering all of this? When you think about the data input wizard, think about an old, crazy little wizard, kind of like Merlin from Sword and Stone. Wizards teach students, so imagine that you're in Merlin's class. Now we can use the word class as an acronym to remember all of those different objects that a data import wizard can use. We just draw out the C's and drop an S. Campaigns, contacts, custom objects, leads, accounts, solutions. It also helps if you sit down and picture Merlin waving his wand and writing a big glittery 50,000 in the air. That way you can remember how many records a data import wizard can import. Next up is our data loader. The data loader is used for bulk import and export of data. You can use it to insert, update, export, or delete Salesforce records. Data loader loads from and exports to CSV files or from a database connection. The most common way to use it is through a point and click interface, but if you're blessed or cursed to be using Windows, then you can use the command line to automate imports and exports. The key features of the data loader are, one, you can upload up to five million records at a time. Two, you have the ability to schedule. Three, you can export or back up your data. And four, it will save your mappings. So what are some great ways to remember all this? Well, when you think about data loader, try and think about a great big bulldozer, something that's moving a lot of earth, an earth loader, a data loader. The main thing here is to remember that data loader can handle a lot more than a data input wizard. So a good text is to imagine a data loader as a big bulldozer, literally carving out the words five million in the ground. So if you were to jump into a plane and view it from space, you'd see a great big five million on the ground. Another way to remember it is to imagine a bulldozer lifting up a great big pile of dirt and then imagining that there's five million little speckles of dirt in there. To remember that a data loader can export and back up your data, just imagine the big bulldozer literally driving backwards. So that's a wrap on data import wizard versus data loader. I hope that was a fun little episode for you guys and gave you some good images to remember. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye bye.